So I had a customer send in what he claims is the original 1986 cover art for the Beastie Boys License to Ill album. Now he wants $50,000 for it. I just talked to my rock and roll guy, Warwick. He's saying it's probably worth $5,000 and he wants my art guy, Chad, to check it out. So if Chad has the same value as Warwick, I'm really gonna have to fight for my right to negotiate if I think I even got a chance of getting this. Ah, Beastie Boys, 1986. I remember that I had to fight for my right to party when I was 16, too. Well, have a seat. Have a oh, seat. Take thanks. a look at it. Thanks, man. This is really, really cool. This was in the 100th Greatest Album covers. So there's been a lot written about it already. Rick Rubin came up with this concept when he was taking the Beastie Boys, who are a punk band, and he added a little bit of rap to them. He had just read a Led Zeppelin book, and he wanted the Beastie Boys to have a jet of their own, but he wanted to do a little kind of a sarcastic bent to it. So he got the artist, who is a graphic artist named World B1, or David Gamble, and brought him the concept, gave it to him. This is the product. So the owner of this says it's an original charcoal sketch. The one thing that I would say about this is this isn't the final product. Obviously, it's not even in color. When he first did this, we know that he used a collage of a lot of different planes, and then he put it together and then went over it with water crayon. It's not the camera ready piece. It's a progressive sketch leading there. So that's why you have the mylar, and they have, you know, they have some of the little notes. This was supposed to directly rip off the Harley Davidson. That was the intention of it at the time. Okay. One of the fun things about this too is it was made to where if you folded the album art, it looked like a little blunt. <laughs> okay, sort of like, uh, <laughs> sort of like the back of Bad Magazine where you'd fold exactly it. Exactly like the back. Okay. All right. <laughs> so how many drafts would? it take to complete a final cover? You know, it, it's hard to say. Could have been a lot because he was experimenting with different aspects of it till he got to the finished product. So what's it worth? The most important version, the one that's really the money shot in it, is going to be the final camera ready product. We know in 2013, another very reputable appraiser put the camera ready version at 15,000. This piece is really great, but it's not the color piece. You know, I'd say you know, five to seven thousand. Yeah. All right, thanks for looking at it, man. Um, hey, thanks for showing it to me. That's super cool. I'll walk Chad out. Yep. I gotta pass that vending machine. You want something, Rick? No, I just want it to be 1986 again. Hey, Jim, how's it going? You're yeah, very good. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Um, so I had my buddy Warwick. Um, he's the number one guy on rock and roll memorabilia in the world. He's looked at it. Um, Chad, my art guy, has looked at it. And he here's what I, I was told, OK? This right here is it it's a work in progress. This is a study. We don't know how many there was. We don't know if there was five drawings that got to the original drawing in the color, or there was 20 or there 30. But it was one of those. The big problem is it's not the artwork that was photograph ready and made the album. Do you understand what I'm saying? I totally get it. Okay. And the artist um, basically is only really well known for this painting. And basically they both told me it'd probably retail for like $5,000. Okay. Okay. And I think it's pretty amazing and probably sell quick. Um, I have some customers I know would be interested in it, so I'd give you a four. To tell you what, Rick, for uh, we're going to be way too far apart on that, unfortunately. I, I like it a little more than that, a lot more than that. The price that you offer me, I get it. I know you did your research, but for me, it's just not worth it to let it go for that. Okay, I can understand, especially if you're asking 50, but I, I literally, I researched it to death. I had, like, the best guys I know of to look at it, and that was their opinion. All right, so um, I'm going to box it up and send it back to you. I mean, what are you going to do with it? You know, I think I'll hold on to it for a little while longer. All right, man. Um, thanks for letting me take a look at it. Um, you'll get it in a few days, OK? Thank you so much, Rick. All right, have a good one, man. Bye-bye.